In 1985, the nation of Yugoslavia introduced an indigenous development of the famous Soviet-era T-72 main battle tank as the M-84. Production totaled 652 units, though this was curtailed by the Yugoslav wars of the 1990s. The endeavor, however, provided local heavy industry and related components companies with experience in the design, development and modification of a complete combat tank system. Following the bloody breakup of Yugoslavia, which created the modern nation of Croatia, the Durodakovic production facility, tied to the manufacture of the original M84, began work on a new modernized version of the M84 as the M95 Degman. Compared to the M84, the newer M95 was given improved armor protection through a composite-slash-laminate hull armor blend as well as support for explosive reactive armor, ERA, blocks, Israeli Elbit RRK across all critical hull and turret facings. The internal ammunition stores residing within the turret were now more separated from the crew, improving survivability. A new thermal imaging system promised improved night combat while the communication suite, fire control system, FCS, and track link components all received due attention. A remote weapons station, RWS, was installed on the turret roof for a better battlefield presence and engineers elected for a more powerful 12-cylinder diesel-fueled engine outputting at 1,200 horsepower. Like the Soviet T-72 and subsequent Soviet-slash-Russian tanks, the M95 featured an autoloader to reduce the operating crew to three men. With the changes in place, pilot vehicles were ordered one to represent the operational quality Croatian Army M95 and the other to represent a possible export mark, as the M84D. Kuwait emerged as the first foreign party interested in the D model for they already fielded a considerable fleet of Yugoslavian M84 tanks in their inventory. The two prototypes were eventually realized but the results of the civil war and funding issues have since brought the M95 project to a halt, just four are believed to be in Croatian army hands as of June 2014. As such, the M95 is not in formal service with any army today, 2014, with its long-term prospects quite dim in the face of shrinking defense budgets worldwide. The Croatian army maintains plans to upgrade their fleet of existing M84A4 tanks to the M84D Degman standard, this to be completed by 2015. The M84D is closely associated with the preceding M84A4 production model which evolved through the Yugoslavian M90 Vire project that resulted in two pilot vehicles for evaluation. The breakup of the country allowed the pilot vehicles to fall under Croatian control and influence tank development in the the new country from there on. Croatia currently maintains about 78 M84A4 tanks, while Kuwait obtained 149 M84AB tanks. Both have plans to upgrade their stocks to the M84D standard. As completed, the M95 is outfitted with the 125mm 2A46M5 smoothbore main gun common to Soviet-slash-Russian tanks. Its diesel engine is mated to a twin transmission system arrangement. The chassis utilizes an independent torsion bar system featuring six road wheels to a hull side as well as three track return rollers. Operational range is listed at 430 miles with a maximum road speed of 45 miles per hour.